Yo, what's up guys? It's Al Trum from AlTrumSound.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple little house drop and melody. This is a future house drop. So this is something you would find if you were exploring the spinning records catalog of music or the future house catalog of music or house nation catalog of music or even NCS even though they're a little bit more they're like a different sort of house song but anyway we're going for that future house funky vibe and we're gonna make a melody from scratch I'm just gonna show you some things that I do to like to generate a melody very quickly and uh, get moving on my music so let's go ahead and do it so a couple things I do to get started here is set my BPM to a desired rate of speed this is usually a rate of speed that my music that is inspiring me is uh, set at so I have some songs in my head that I've already listened to that are running at 126 beats per minute and so now that's a, a really good indicator that I should be there because now's not the time to be different. I just need to get my ideas out of my head as fast as possible. And so I'm going to use some guidelines to get these numbers all set. And then to help Logic Pro run nice and easy without any bumps in the road, I like to snap regions to absolute value so that I don't have to zoom all the way into the grid and manually set my... Uh, sounds where they should be because logic knows where they should be all right and of course and of course the next thing I'm gonna do is load up my future house star sample pack that is available on alextrumsound.com it's our newest pack so go ahead on the alextrumsound.com right now and go grab the future house stars pack it's our biggest pack of 300 sounds and over a hundred of them are just presets for serum with bases leads big fat leads and pads and plucks and melodic keys everything you need to make a house song is in this pack so we also got a bunch of percussion in there too so i'm gonna go ahead and grab a kick one of my favorite kicks from the pack and just get us a little beat going oh that's nice when you have a uh, pink track it makes all the audio files fake that's cute i like that I'm not like, if you guys know me on this channel, you know I'm not like the craziest, most organized person in the world. So, I never mess around with track color or anything. This is exciting. All right, and so I need something to get me moving forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop one of our top loops on here. Let's get that one that was 126. This one's a little high speed, but uh, we can work into it. I wasn't going for, whoops, wasn't going for something that was moving that fast straight off the bat, but whatever. So I got like an idea now. So a couple of things, this is where we get our ideas for our melodies and ideas for our chords. Obviously, you have to listen to plenty of songs and get the idea for what chords and melodies sound like to how to how to get that funky vibe and um, you want to listen to enough music so that you already know what you should be writing before you write it and so I have those ideas in mind of course and other things that can help inspire a melody or chords is obviously uh, what you already have down on a piece of paper so we have this little funky beat here So I can already hum like six different melodies right on the spot to this and uh, you know start generating some cool ideas. So let's go ahead into Serum and I'm gonna go into the Future House Stars for Serum pack and I'm just gonna use the house organ as one of my uh, favorite sounds for getting chords started because they're real dry. These, uh, these chord sounds are real dry and uh, they have a really cool vibe because it's an organ. Like, who uses organs? <laughs> organs were very popular in house music in 2015 and like, or 2014 I think it was. And now I'm starting to hear organs pop up a little bit more, uh, especially on the Future House YouTube channel. And I really like it, I think it sounds cool. Mm -hmm. 
So when you're making a bass line, or when you're making chords, I like to start out with the bass notes of the chords, aka the bottom notes of the chords, because then everything you can build up easily from there. Whereas if you start with a top line melody or mid line of your chord, it's gonna be very hard to build downward. That's why I started with the kick and then I'm gonna go through the bass and then up through the rest of the chords and melodic elements. So this is how we build chords and we make them funky too. We're gonna to do that too, watch. Okay, so we got our chords, but they're basic. Look at the, or we don't have our chords, we have our bass line. We don't have our chords yet. We are gonna build the chords, trust me. But look at this, look at this right here. Um, oh shit. I'm like not talking into my mic. I hope you guys were able to hear me that whole time. I like got my mic, oh, it's looking over in the closet over there. <laughs> but, um. These are basic, as you can see, just the rhythm is super basic. It's all on grid perfectly, like one, two, three, four on the fifth line. And then we got a note starting on the third line here and then the fifth line here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just adjust these a little bit, push the fronts of these notes, two little tick marks forward here. Nah. Oh, we got one more note to put there. And you can already hear how our like funky rhythm and melodic funky rhythm is evolving. It's very future house, guys. It's cool. And now I'm just going to harmonize with this bass line. These notes have no rules. You can do whatever you want, just stay in key of whatever your key signature is. I didn't really go into the key signature when talking about this, because I don't know what key I'm in, because I make stuff by ear. If I wanted to find this out, I'd have to go look up the piano scale on Google, which is easy, but for now, I'm just trying to get things out quickly so I can't find out the uh, key signature for you yet. <laughs> got some nice little melody here so this is something I could uh, totally harmonize a melody with because this is a nice little set of chords and they're real simple we could do three layer chords we could do four layer chords or we could stick with two layer chords like this so I'm gonna add some bounce to these <laughs> Nice. So let's go ahead and build us a nice bass line. Cool part about building your chords first um, and deciding your bass notes and your chord notes is we already have the bass line halfway done. Now it's the fun part. We get to shop around for a bass sound that works really well with our little beat here. So let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna come into Future House Stars for Serum. Again, it's available at alexromsound.com and I'm gonna pick a bass sound, like a little bass pluck. I got a deep house pluck here. Do, 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 do. Now, this is like, this is like a game to me, like making the sickest rhythm we could.
do 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 get it do 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 Nice, and then we go back to our A rhythm, which is our rhythm in this section. And then this is going to be our B rhythm right here. And so we can use this same rhythm for our, uh, no, it's right here. Bum, 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 bum. This one I gotta fix because we, we actually enter differently here. I didn't realize I missed that first note. So we're looking more for something like this, I think, hold on. That's nice. And then of course we bring in our chords, uh, but wait a second, you know what we gotta do? We gotta low cut them just a tad so we can show the shiny Christmas, crispiness of that bass line. We have that that's just an idea or we can take um, my other favorite sound in the world you can't like escape this sound when listening to EDM let's add some kick start to this bass line so that we uh, get that bounce Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go on splice and grab a little vocal sample that we can throw on top of our rhythm here. Hey. <laughs> like this would be something that I could totally use. So all we have to do is transpose this until we hit the key that we're going for. I, that might be, hold on. That one actually might be uh, close. Yo, wait, I have this idea, guys. Watch. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. This is this is turning out pretty sick. Dun 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 dun. dun yeah. Mm. 
And then we can chop this right here. I don't know if that's in key, I can't tell. <laughs> nope. Nice, we got it. This sounds cool. This is groovy, man. So then all you really have to do here now is make this vocal lead pop and the best way I like to do that. Yeah. Watch, we can make the second half of this melody. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> la, 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 la. Nice. All right, and let's go ahead into Logic's reverb. And bada bing, we got some nice reverb. This is cool. This is fun. This is dope. So that's cool. One more thing. Let's see if we can air this out a little bit. I got one more sound that I'm like pretty obsessed with. This one, my partner made it. His name's April Wave. He made this sound. He always makes that one sound in a pack that just ugh, makes me go insane. It's called Don Devil or Don Punk. Yeah, this is it. That is, if that doesn't scream future house, I don't know what does. This kid is crazy. He's a maniac. Let's lower the octave. So awesome, man. That is how to make a little future house beat slash drop slash melody obviously this is just an idea it is not a finished product but this is what you take and you turn in to the next future house hit that the whole world can listen to this is awesome guys hope you enjoyed this video i had a blast making it i love you guys so much peace out